Unbeaten and 54 in a row, and Chief Osceola ready to throw down. Ed Reed, sound in the kicking game against Chance Gwaltney, comes through there and blocks it with Fitzgerald's there. Oh, Ed Reed was sound in the kicking game as he blocks this one. Marquis Reese inside, the quickness. Ed Reed had a huge day for himself. Okay, you see where this pressure is going to come from, and Miami had almost gotten the first punt, and Gwaltney helps him out by bobbling the snap, and Miami taking advantage quickly. Chris Ricks working, and here's Reed again with the pick. Yeah, you know, you go through the tip drill, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Reed was a magnet to the ball today. He came up with a couple of picks, had a huge day. Three tackles, couple interceptions, and he blocked the kick. Ed Reed playing like an All-American. Speaking of All-Americans, how about Ken Dorsey? Andre Johnson and the Canes up 14 to nothing. More from Miami. What about that tight end? Play action to the back of the end zone. Jeremy Shockey's wide open, no one cover. And the Canes appear to be opening up a can of whooping. It was 21-0. You see, here, though, Florida State was able to keep itself going by running the football. Greg Jones pounding out some yards there, and then down 21 nothing. Jones finds some room, goes in, and it's 21-6. It was wide right on an extra point of all things. Ricks making yards, scrambling. FSU offense, 140 yards on the ground. Yeah, didn't think they could run the ball against Miami, but they were able to do it because Ricks moved the ball outside, and they worked the left side of the offense. 21-13 at the half, the difference, the O-line of the Canes, Mark. The tackles, Joaquin Gonzalez and Brian McKinney, the two big guys on the outside, were able to open up the pocket for quarterback Ken Dorsey. Great vision by the quarterback looking downfield. Here again, great protection by those big tackles on the outside. They average 6'6", six 320 pounds, but they can roll over anybody, any defensive end, and when you've got those guys up front, it's easy for your quarterback to sit in the pocket and just pick the defensive part. They have not allowed a sack all year. Dorsey finding Johnson again on third and 10. Miami up 28 to 13. Now FSU trying to answer, and they get a terrible break here. Ricks, arm appeared to be going forward, but Jonathan Vilma's heads up, no whistle, picks it up and scores. And Miami just really acting very aggressively, moving with the ball. Florida State hesitated a little bit, but it was a bad call. I thought his arm was moving forward. I don't think there's any question if they missed that one. Probably wouldn't have made much of a difference. Willis McGee. Gahey, the fine freshman, crashing through Seminoles, going into the house in Miami. Miami. Blisters, Florida State, and all streaks as far as home winning, home unbeaten, are over for the Seminoles. 49 to 27. Dorsey, numbers were fine. Actually, Florida State outgained Miami on the day, but Miami won.